Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps to use the EL Segment Tool with the Insight L38 device. The EL Segment Tool is a simple, powerful tool that can identify various physical features on a scanned object and offer important analytical information to inform users on the quality of their objects. For example, this tool is effective at finding defects on an object and returns information such as location, area, number of defects, etc. This is a must-have for any quality check applications. Before we begin, please make sure the L38 device is powered on and InSight Vision Suite is open in spreadsheet mode with images in the film strip for the EL Segment tool to look for defects. You will find the VIDI EL Segment 3D tool in the tool panel on the right under the 3D VIDI EL heading. To add the tool into the spreadsheet, you can either click on a cell in the spreadsheet and then double-click the tool or drag and drop the tool directly into the spreadsheet cell. Either process will assign the tool to the spreadsheet cell. This will open the 3D VIDI EL segment property sheet. First, look for the box 3D parameter. This will create a region of interest of the general area when using the segment tool. Double-click on box 3D to return to the point cloud window. The tool will automatically assume an ROI, but we will create a new region that is customized to the part. First, we will select the top view perspective cube to look at the part from the top. Then click on quick drop region and click and drag to create a box around the whole part. Be aware that the ROI you create will only show in that space. Note that if the part tends to move in the scanning region, you will have to fixture the part with a pattern match tool. Click the Accept button to confirm the region placement. The tool window will open again displaying the part in a type of projection mode. To change the projection mode, click the Projection tab in the top right and pick a new option from the drop-down menu. Selecting a projection mode is important as the tool will be trained in this view, so make sure to choose a mode that clearly shows any areas of defects. For this example, I will be using Flex Inspect. Return to the General tab. Another important parameter is the projection image resolution. The choices here determine the resolution of the image. Low is less detailed, and full shows every detail on the part. The selected resolution affects the processing speed. Higher resolutions will produce more detailed images, but sacrifice processing speed. Versus lower resolutions which produce less detailed images, but process faster. For this example, I will choose medium resolution. Next, we will begin labeling the images. There are three tools to use for segmenting, the pen, the polygon tool, and the eraser tool. The pen tool can be used to draw general segments and you can easily adjust sizes via the pen size slider. Here, I will draw in this defect with the pen tool. The polygon tool can be used to draw specific segments using clicks to get more rigid edges. Click Enter after you're done to automatically connect the last point to the first point. Everything within the points is considered part of the same segment. To move around the image, click on the hand icon at the top to pan around the image by clicking and dragging. The eraser tool will remove any marks created. When labeling is complete, click the Accept Labels button in the corner. To label another image, return to the InSight Vision Suite window and click the next image in the film strip. To ensure the tool works accurately, we suggest labeling at least five images. After labeling the first time, the tool will begin to learn and make predictions of defects in the next images. To check the labels, click on the pencil icon next to Labeled Image. All the previously labeled images are stored here. To re-edit an image, simply click on the pencil icon for that image and remark the label. To delete a labeled image, select the images with the open box and click the Delete button. Close the tool window and review the tool information in the spreadsheet cell. 
the tool will display defect information such as the area, volume, and height. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.